Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt or else, if you have any queries in the video, please comment in the section. And uh, you can able to join us in the Instagram page, which is in the video description. And I have also given in the notes. I have also given the Instagram link in the notes. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see a fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the insect order which is known as the hymenoptera so in this hymenoptera which is said to be known as the third largest order while seeing about the name description hymen which is said to be a membrane and terra which is a wings so the membrane is wings and also the name used to have another name uh, which is the hymen which is said to be known as the god of marriage and the terra wings so they are said to be known as the manager union of four hind wings with the hamily so it was the name given by them and the sign common names are ant, bees and wasps. So they are said to be the ecologically specialized habitats. So they are said to be narrowly adapted to specific habitat in this environment. So while seeing about the hymenoptera, they used to have a narrow waist connected through the thorax and abdomen in each and every insect and the abdomen used to be curved downward in nature and uh, they may use it to have a sting on the end of the abdomen or else it can be absent. Beside isoptera, it has the only social system with the division of labor in this group, in this order. So, I have given the pictures which is a carpenter bee as well as red ants and the yellow jacket. So, these are some of the insects in the present in hymenoptera. And while seeing the characteristics of hymenoptera, the head is said to be mobile and hypognathous and the mouth parts are said to be primarily adapted for the chewing except in the bees where the labium and mabium were said to be formed as a tongue-like structure where which the food is said to be taken by these in the bees one and the mandibles are said to be well developed and the in bees both labium and maxillae are said to be integrated to form a lapping tongue and uh, their thorax is said to be modified for the efficient flight and uh, the antenna is said to be geniculate with more than 10 or more segmented but it can be varied and the pronotum is said to be collar like and the mesothorax is said to be enlarged and me metathorax is said to be small and the both prothorax as well as the metathorax are fused to form a mesothorax in this thoracic region and the wings are said to be stiff and membranous one what we have already remembered in the name itself and the four wings are said to be larger than the hind wings and the wing venation is said to be reduced and both four wings and hind wings are said to be coupled by a row of hooklets which are said to be known as the hamily and uh, which are said to be present on the leading edge of the hind wing which is said to be used for the flight and uh, the abdomen is said to be basically constricted one in nature and the abdominal segment are said to be known as the pro podium and it is said to be fused with the metathorax and the first pair of abdominal spiracle is said to be located in the propodium and the second largest segment is said to be known as pedicel in the body part which used to connect the thorax as well as the abdomen and the abdomen beyond the pedicel is said to be known as the gaster and also known as the metasoma is the another name of the gaster in these insects and the oviposter is said to be always present in female but in male it can be present or else it may be modified or may be absent in some of the species and it is said to be varily modified as singing, serving as well as piercing plant tissue based on the type of insect which it is said to be found and uh, the metamorphosis is said to be complete in this group of insects where you can able to see the egg, larva, pupa as well as the adult ones and uh, the use to have the often uh, grub as adophus as well as the use of a scrub and the larva is said to be largely heresiform and the pupa is uh, an exotic pupa and uh, frequently enclosed in a silken cocoon secreted by their labial glands in nature uh, I have given the pictures of the larva as well as the pupa, which is x pupa and the adult one and uh, where the, some of the parasitoids X which is said to be found on the larva and uh, the said to be sex is determined by the fertilization of the X in this order of insects and the fertilized X are said to be developed into female and the males are produced from the unfertilized X of the these bees in our environment and the males are said to be haploid and females are deployed in nature and the parthogenesis and polyembryony are said to be seen in these group of insects in order hymenoptera and the economic importance is 
they used to have a wide variety of habitat and a wide variety of lifestyle in this environment some of phytophagus and as well as predaceous and some of the scavengers which are useful in the environment and many are said to be parasitoids and pests in this group of insects while seeing the classification the hymenoptera order is said to be classified into two suborders which is sympita as well as apo Crita. So the abdomen is said to be broadly joined to the leg, and the abdomen is petiolated um, in apocrita. So in sympata, the larva is said to be caterpillar and belongs to its free form. But in apocrita, it is grub as well as the adolescence. Eusophilus type are said to be present, and the uh, stemata is said to be present in sympata, and the apocrita it is said to be absent. Both thoracic and abdominal legs are present in the sympata one, and apocrita the legs are said to be absent. So these are the pictures, and um, after that, whole portion is said to be saw-like and suited for piercing the plant one. So they are basically the phytophagous one, and uh, they are said to be sophisticated in this. But in apocrita, they are said to be uh, not saw-like. It is suitable for parasiting as well as stinging in other groups. So they used to have a sophisticated characters are said to be more, and they are generally parasitous one. Mm, these are the pictures of them. And uh, while seeing the suborder Symphyta, the there is only one family, which is a uh, Tentendi, which is uh, consists of saw flies, and suborder Apocrita, which used to have the fifteen families. I can able to show the pictures in one by one. In suborder Symphyta, where you can able to see the saw flies in the family Tentendi. So please remember it because it is the only and only family in Symphyta in Hymenoptera suborder, Hymenoptera suborder. So while seeing about its character they are said to be wasp like insect and the abdomen is said to be broadly jointed and uh, suitable for slicing the plant tissues so the larva is said to be eris form larva and used to have a 6 to 8 pairs of abdominal leg and uh, pro legs are said to be crochet in nature and they are said to be external feeders on foliage while they usually feed on the posterior part of the body coiled with the edge of the leaves uh, for example mustard softly so the scientific name is Athalia lucens proxima is said to be also known as the defoliator of mustard and cruciferous vegetables, one of the important pests on them. And uh, after coming to the suborder Apocrita, where you can be able to see the first one, Ecumenoid. So the adults are said to be diurnal as well as they use it to visit the floors. Trochanter is said, said to be two segmented, and the hind femur is said to be trochanterless. And the whole portion is said to be arised anterior to the tip of the abdomen. It is often longer than the body as well as exerted permanently from the body. Uh, so the scientific name is Eriborus trachanchas, which is an exotic larva parasite in coconut black-headed caterpillars. Uh, the important one we must need to know. So these are the wings where they used to have a two recurrent MCQ cross veins in the wing form, where they used to shape like a horse one. And there is no coastal cells are said to be present in Ecumenoid wasp. And after that, we are going to see about the Braconid wasp. So they are said to use it to have a stout-bodied insects. And the four wings used to have one recurrent point. And they are said to be known as the gregarious parasite. And they parasite on Leptocrine larva commonly. Abdomen is as long as the head and thorax together. So one of the important parasites and the pupation occur only in circum cocoons either externally on the host or else away from the host in groups. Example Bracon beveris, it is said to be mostly multiplied and released in the coconut to control blackhead caterpillars in those. So these are the pictures how the lepidoctrin larva is said to be parasited in this one and the adult picture are said to be given and there is only one recurrent cross veins are said to be present and there is no coastal cells. And after that, we are going to see is benthlets. They are said to be ant-like black-colored wasps, and the female used to have many species. And are said to be wingless one in female, but in the males are yeah, the winged one. Example: Paracelorola nefactidis. It is said to be a specific larva parasite on co coconut blackhead caterpillar. And uh, Calcicidae, which is said to be known as the calcid web, they are said to be small to medium sized insects, and the hind cocks are said to be 5 to 6 times larger than the four cocks in this one. And the hind tibia are used to have spurs on the larger than the mid tibial spur, and the hind femora are said to be larger in row than the teeth beneath it. And uh, Brachymyra species is to be a pupil parasite on the coconut black headed caterpillar. 
so these are the pictures of those insects and after that eulophilae which is to be known as the pupal parasite they use it to pairs have a minor pupal parasite and the hind wings are said to be narrow with the pupacent on the wing of lamina and the hairs are said to be not arranged in rows and uh, for example tetrasicus islage is said to be a gregarious pupal parasite and uh, mostly commonly used for the control of black coconut head caterpillars and the oak portion is said to be almost present at the tip of the abdomen and uh, we are going to see is trichogram today which is said to be known as the egg parasite they are said to be very tiny insect where they used to have a size of 0.3 to 1 mm long one and they also released based on the benefits of the insects they used to release a stamp on this one insect and the tarsus is said to be three segmented one and the four wings are said to be broader than pupacent micro hairs in its rows and the hind wing is reduced and fringed with the hairs along their margins is also important character Trichogramma species is said to be extensively used for biological control of sugar plants, moth borers in the sugar cane fields, and they are mainly egg parasitoid on lepidopteran insects. One of the beneficial character in this one. So these are the pictures of these Trichogramma species. And after that, we are going to see is Evanidae, which is said to be known as the insect wasp. And the petiole is said to be long and abrupt, and the gaster is said to be short, compressed, and attached to the propodium by the slender petiole it is said to be carried almost like a flag like in nature and the parasite on the utica of rock crotches to get their young ones and after that we are going to see is again a fig which is said to be known as the fig wasp where the male is apterus and the female is said to be winged so the apterus means the unwinged ones and the female used to have a long oviposter and the forewing and hindwing are said to be stout in this one and the middle legs are said to be slender they used to live inside the fig plants and pollinate and uh, fruit fly the flowers so blastophaga senans which is developed from the capric fig which is said to be wild and pollinates spirina which is said to be known as the edible cultivated fig and after that we are going to see is vespidae where it used to contain the yellow jackets as well as the hornets so the yellow vespidae banded bass which is said to be known as the honey bee's enemy so one of the important predator as well as the one of the important predator as well as the destroyer of honey bee combs because yeah, a single yellow banded bass can able to destroy hunt uh, can able to destroy or eat up to 100 bees per day honey bees per day which is to decrease the production of honey bee and they are said to be a yeah, so used to have, have a so solitary as well as the social webs they are said to be mainly predaceous on lepidopteran in caterpillars but they also used to have a advantages of eating the lepidopteran caterpillars and many parasitic caterpillars are stored in the cells of the nest so the eggs can able to suspend out their filament from the top of the nests and the cell is said to be seed which was also an important character so these are the pictures of yellow banded wasp and uh, especially which is said to be known as the thread waisted wasp which is also known as the digger wasp and uh, madjover and the lateral extension of the pronotum forms a round loop and the petiole is said to be slender nests are said to be constructed using a uh, mud or uh, dug out in the ground these insects are said to be they use insects and spider to provision for the nest and eggs are laid in pair on the paralysis and kill the host when they use to emerge so and the other ways the form is today which used to combine ants so the ants are said to be the commonly wide species antenna is said to be geniculate and mandibles are said to be well developed so the wings are said to be present only in sexually matured forms and the petiole used to have one or two spines on their one and they are said to be known as the social insects where they used to have three castes the queen male and workers and the workers are said to be the sterile female and they form a bulk of the colony and the exchange of food material between adults and immature is said to be common in these group of insects and uh, the after mating fight of queen also find a suitable nesting site and the wings break near the abcussion and the exer laying is stopped by after digesting the wings usually the queen does not forage for food so the worker used to forage the food and feed for the 
Q on art during the initial phase of the nest building is used to entirely on fat body reserves and products of the wing muscle degeneration. So many species are used to have established symbiotic relationship with the homopteran insect like ants and uh, the 13th one which is the apidae which, uh, which are used to comprise of honeybees. The body is said to be covered with the branching or promos hairs and the mouth parts are mainly the sheaving as well as the lapsing type and the mammals are suitable for crushing and snapping wax from the for building cones of the nets and the legs are said to be specialized for pollen connection and the scopa is said to be present on the hind tibia. They are said to be the social insects with three castes like ants and termites which comprise of cuneon, drone and workers and the temporal separation of duties is said to be noticed among workers. For example in Indian bee which is said to be known as the F.E. Syndica. It is a productive insect of producing honeybees which is consumed by humans. And the 14th one which is Megachelidae family which used to comprise of leaf cutter bees. They are said to be the solitary one and the mandibles are short and scissor like structure which are used for cutting the leaves in a she-shaped nature and the pollen gathering hairs which is scopa are said to be present on the venture of the abdomen. They eat circular as well as the crescent shaped species of leaf of roses and the cut pieces of leaves are used for preparing leaf lined cells on their one and the rose leaf cutter so the Macachile Anthracina it is said to be the pest of rose as well as the red gram so they do not harm give any harmfulness to those plants but they used to cut the leaves so the uh, photosynthetic area as well as the covering area of the crop is said to be reduced so one of the important damage and uh, the 15th one which is the xylocopida which is used to comprise of carpenter bees they are said to be large and robust in nature and they are said to be dorsum of the abdomen is said to be bare and the pollen basket is said to be absent in hirelings but brushes of hairs are said to be present in their handling one and they, they use it to build nest in the dead logs as well as in live branches they tunnel in on direction but they do not feed on food the tunnel is used for the portion of several cells and separated by cemented wood crops and pollen and nectar are said to be placed in each cell together with uh, one egg so the larva can able to hatch and feed grow and pupate inside the tree and the adults are not aggressive and they do not naturally sing but well, uh, they will visit the floor and take nectar often by simply biting through the base of the floor instead of slipping at the top is that nature so I have given the lecture notes in description so please comment about our video in the comment section and join us in the Instagram page I have given the links in the lecture notes as itself as well as in the video description and the about of our YouTube channel so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to BC agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch you up in next videos